Leo. This is your full moon, right? You are bringing us the first full moon of the year. An eclipse, no less. The last two years have been quite a bit of drama and up and down and change and a will they, won't they, will he, won't he, will she, won't she kind of back and forth, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the power of the eclipses. Also, the changing north nodes, there's been a lot that has been shifting over you guys in terms of what's best for you. Um, I always like want to preen slowly in your video. Um, <laughs> and this full moon is the culmination of a lot of that. Not the culmination so much as the finalization. Really cementing a new phase in life for you, right? The end of January, middle, mid to end of January. These readings are a little bit more eclipse focused since it is smack dab in the middle. One week before and about a week after. So for Leo, leading up and coming into this eclipse, you have the Knight of Swords, the Hermit Reversed, and the Emperor. Ooh, ooh, demanding, 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 selfish, harsh, brutal. Right off of the gate, this definitely feels like somebody else. Ah, ooh. Who have you handed over your power and your control to? Um, what is that doing to you? It's really turning you upside down. If you're dealing with the Virgo or an Aries in particular, they're being really, really, really harsh with you right now in a way that's got you spinning. And in a way that's got you desperate to want to be alone or desperate to not be alone. Um, very much one extreme or the other. Um, but the theme of, of loneliness and, and having difficulty burying things out very, very, very strong leading up to this eclipse. Feeling like maybe some of your power might have been robbed. Hold on, I thought that I saw a card flipped over. Sometimes they're sneaky. No? I was imagining it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, and... For the very select few, whether this is not somebody um, being harsh and, and upside down and taking their frustrations out on you or trying to control you, if this is you, there is quite, quite a bit of pain in which you are inflicting on others now, yeah? Uh, why? Because you're afraid to be alone? Um, because you're afraid that if you don't try to control the situation, that you will always be alone. Mm. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah. Seven of Cups is like coming up a lot in a lot of these readings. Venus Retrograde must have really done a number on like a lot of people. Venus retrograde bullshit's probably coming right back up. Seven of cups and four of swords in reverse. Feeling confused and feeling like you want to lash out. Oh my god! The energy is really harsh with you guys leading up to this eclipse. Like, ow! Man! Ooh! Ooh! And why? Because of this Emperor card right here. What is a Leo when a Leo doesn't have their own power or authority over themselves? Robbed. Perhaps disillusioned. Seven of Cups. Perhaps unable to find any rest. Four of Swords reversed. It's time to change all that. This is your moon. 
This is your time. It's showing very clearly where things are not good for you. Because on the other side of that, there's the Ace of Wands. There's so much good. Good that is naturally yours. Good that belongs to you. That is for you. That's been waiting patiently for you to get rid of things that don't belong in your life anymore. Things that are trying to inhibit you. Trying to control you. Trying to push you. Trying to force you. Trying to take from you. It's time for them to go. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. There's no time to not feel any rest. There's no time to be disillusioned. It's only time to get out. Uh, that Knight of Swords is not a person and it's not you doing somebody wrong. Then that's you having to aggressively cut people away so that you can gain control again. Yes? Yeah? Because they're not letting you be. They're not giving you a chance for peace. So in order to find your authority and to find yourself again. And in order to find your inspiration for life. They need to go. Plain as day eclipse. Plain as day. Things have felt confusing for two years now, right? Ever since the eclipse. Back in 2016 in August. That was a trip for me, I remember that. Um, <laughs> you know? Yeah, the moon. This is the last little bit of, of confusion. It, it feels like confusion, but it's not. It's just because so much information is being relayed to you that quite a lot of, a lot of the information being relayed to you is also being replayed to you, you know? That 2016 eclipse, shadows of it popping up back here. Um, finally having to make a decision, two of pentacles reversed, so that you can really truly be that open, flowing self, and which is so, so beautiful about you guys. Yeah? Yeah? On the other side of this eclipse, Decisions are easier to make, um, easier to move forward, easier to be open and to be yourself again. King of Swords, it's time to cut away. Three of Cups and celebrate. Page of Swords and learn. Three of Swords from the heartbreak. Empress. The world. So that you can find a sense of beauty and being from everything that you've gone through. Yeah, I mean, that's what I got. Came right out for you guys. You're ready. You're ready to hear this. You're ready to move on. You're ready to move forward. It's time to leave the bullshit in the past. Don't have time for it anymore. Your heart's set on bigger things. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you in February. Yeah. Bye.